welcome to the studio today. So I found this beautiful oak framed breakfast tray at a secondhand store. So today we're going to cover the back of this with a faux stained glass pattern. I'm thinking maybe star, sun, and moon. What do you think? And um, we'll see how that turns out. It's an easy thing for you to be able to use acrylic paints or stamper inks and glue and make a fake stained glass. All right, so this is a lengthy process. So you're going to see all of the important parts in little snips. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean my glass. I want to clean the front and the back. I'm going to paint actually on the back side. So I do want to clean it all very thoroughly before I begin the process. So my glass is nice and clean. So I'm actually taking a piece of newsprint you can use cardboard, you can use other paper. Um, this newsprint is nice because as you can see, I just use my pencil and it gave me an edge already. So it'll just kind of cut right off. It's an old piece of newsprint. So um, this is just my, going to be my design. So I'm not too worried about being exact, but if you are worried about that, then you do want to measure this out. Get yourself some scissors out. Maybe an exacto knife and make sure everything is trimmed however you want it. So once I have this design cut out, or I mean this paper that I'm going to use for my design cut out and the correct size, then I'm going to actually just set aside my frame because I won't need this until I am ready for drawing. All right, so and the next part is I mix up black acrylic paint with Elmer's glue all. And I don't know if you saw that, but I put a tiny bit of copper in there, copper paint, because this mixture is going to be the outline that looks like the lead in your leaded glass. Now, the important thing is I actually use a hair color bottle, even though I don't color my hair anymore. I find that the tip on this is a good tip to cut to the size that I want for tracing the ends. And the important thing for the texture of your paint for the lead part is that it is writable. So I always take paper and I chew, make sure that I can do swirls and, and write smoothly without the line breaking up. And that's important for the next step. Okay, so I have my paper fastened to the back. It doesn't have to be tight. My, my design is just going to be approximate anyway. So we'll turn it over. Remember, we are drawing on okay, the back. So let me test out my drawing device here. A little clumpy there. Yeah, so that'll work. Now, if you want a design that has thinner lines, they do make tracing bottles that you can actually buy at a craft store. I believe that they're in the ink section um, for stamping. However, what you need to know is you'll need a thinner mixture 
and it will be harder to control how it flows out. So practice with it before you get to your pieces of glass, okay? All right, so let's, um, I always want to start from top to bottom because I do rest my hand on the glass. You don't want to have a design here and then um, have to work that way. That won't be good. So let's get started. And I'm... set for 24 hours we'll leave it sit on the table and we'll be back and we'll begin the process of putting the colors inside our faux stained glass We've had a chance to dry overnight. Some places are still just a little bit tacky, but most places are totally dry. Now, as you see, there's some bubbles that came up. Now, if you do not want any bubbles, make sure that your glue and your ink sits for a little while, at least about 20 minutes, so some of the bubbles will come up. Now, I mix this quick quickly and put it on there because of trying to do the video but what i plan to do is to kind of break the bubbles and put a silver or gold dot where all these bubbles came up 
because we're going to now reveal the other side and you'll see what I mean. It's an up close item. It's not a window. So I don't really care about having the gold or silver on there. Um, if you put it on a window, though, gold or silver is not going to show through, so it's just going to look like a dot from far away. So this is my breakfast tray. The other thing you could do, and I actually might do, because this is a piece that you're going to see up close, is I could take a, even just a Sharpie when it's totally dry and add little details on here. So I don't know for sure if I will, but... I am so glad that you had a chance to see this, and I hope you try this at home on any piece of glass that you have. Um, I've seen people do this also on acrylic. Now, acrylic, of course, scratches um, a little bit more, but this is just beautiful. So thank you for watching, and I hope you try this 